We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you on yet another day that God has given us by His grace. And by that grace and by that mercy, we will make it through. The grace of God is sufficient in all seasons, for His power is made perfect in weakness. There is no place that we can go where we can go out of the reach of the love of God. In all seasons, in all situations, we know that we can trust in God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we can receive miracles, signs and wonders. We can receive deliverance. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today and the title of my message is The Importance of Vision. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then we'll begin and I'll also pray for you in line with this message. Right now, in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to draw nearer to Jesus. Help us to understand the Word. Help us to understand the spiritual things concerning our walk in Christ to a greater level and a greater degree. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, it is important to understand that it is a very dangerous place to be when you don't have direction in life. I've seen too many people who don't have direction. They don't have a solid point that they want to get to in their life. Vision is so important in one's life. And where there's a lack of vision, the people perish. The Bible actually talks about this. It is so important that we receive a vision from God concerning our lives through much seeking of the will of God to understand what He wants us to do and where He wants us to go. And that we move in that direction, in the direction of the vision that God has entrusted to us. Each and every one of us has a vision that God has given us. It may be in your business, it may be in your career, it may be in your organization, whatever it might be. It might even be something small. But it's so important to understand and know that that vision and that direction is very important. Many people lack vision and direction. So what tends to happen is action without direction. They simply watch others and they copy. And then someone else comes along and they watch that person and they're inspired by them and they look at them, they see their lifestyle and they copy. This is dangerous. It's absolutely essential that our lives are planted and rooted in Christ. And at the same time, we are rooted and grounded in a vision that God has given us. And this helps us to make progress. It helps us to avoid any stagnation in our life. It helps us to avoid any situation where we are making progress slowly. It is absolutely essential that we have a vision. I saw a quote, and this quote is quite powerful concerning vision. It says, vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. Vision with action can change the world. I'll read that once again. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. Vision with action can change the world. And this is a problem that many people face. They don't have vision. They don't have direction. They are simply watching and copying others. It's absolutely essential that we have vision and we know where we are going. 
that we are rooted, grounded, set in that vision. And we follow the word of God concerning the vision and the plan that God has for our lives. It is absolutely essential that we take note concerning the way that God wants us to go and the will that God has for our lives. Understand and know that in the direction that God calls you, there will be heavenly backing. There will be divine support from heaven. There will be divine enablement because God goes before you and he fights the battles. One of the keys and the secrets to surviving all the attacks that the enemy can bring at you is to remain in the will of God. Remain in the will of God for your life. Remain in the direction and the path that God has set you on. Understand and know that as you remain in that direction, and as you follow God, God will make a way for you. People with vision go far. People with vision make impact and great changes in this world. People with vision often get attacked by those who don't have vision because they look at them and sometimes jealousy is triggered. So if you are a person with vision and someone is attacking you as you are in your pursuit of your vision, it's absolutely essential that you understand and know that as you move in a certain direction, people may not understand. And it's inevitable. The devil uses misunderstandings to cause conflict. The devil uses situations where there is a lack of knowledge to create division, to create misunderstandings. So it's absolutely essential that we have a vision. It's absolutely essential that we continue in the path that God has called us, regardless of the attacks that may come against us, We continue to move in the path that God has called us until he says, Okay, you have fulfilled your mission. Well done, good and faithful servant. So if you don't have a vision, seek God and ask him to give you a vision, to give you direction. If you have a vision and you are discouraged by the attacks that come up against you, seek God and ask him for strength to help you to keep on going without giving up and to move in line with his will for your life. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God for a few moments and then I'll begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Father, we praise you and we thank you for another day that you've given us. A wonderful day. We lift up your name and we thank you that you're with us and you give us direction. You speak to us and you show us this is the way, walk in it. Speak to us and guide us. As we follow you in Christ Jesus, our Lord, lead us and guide us in the right direction. Help us to move in line with your will. And bless us, touch us, anoint us. Thank you for the family, friends and people that you've placed around us. Thank you for every day that you give us that we can live on and move in the direction that you have given us. We give you praise and we thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Now as we begin, I want to encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even right now, as we are trusting you in faith, as my dear friend connects in faith, wherever my dear friend is watching, if my dear friend does not have a solid direction and solid vision in their life, give my dear friend vision and direction in the way that they must go. And bless my dear friend mightily. Take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. If my dear friend has a vision, 
and they are moving in that direction, but they are experiencing a lot of attacks from people who might be jealous. I pray that you will give my dear friend the strength to endure and not to give up. Give my dear friend the strength to press on and to receive from you. We give you praise and we thank you that you are with us, fighting for us, and our direction and our help comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you and God be with you. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.